Hi, I'm Jason Steer, and in this short tutorial I want to show you how to set up your own digital signature for signing off Adobe PDF documents. First of all, what is a digital signature? Well, a digital signature is used to authenticate digital information such as documents, email messages and macros. By using computer cryptography, digital signatures help to establish the following assurances. The authenticity. The digital signature helps to assess that the signer is who he or she claims to be. The integrity. The digital signature helps to assure that the content has not been changed or tampered with since it was digitally signed. Non-repudiation. The digital signature helps to prove to all parties the origin of the signed content. Repudiation refers to the act of a signer's denying any association with the signed content. So let's look at an example of a document that needs digital signage. On my desktop here I have a PDF document of a timesheet that a contractor has sent me which needs authorising with a signature. Since I am the manager of the project I'll need to sign this off in order for the contractor to be paid. In my example here I have the authorised signature field at the bottom left of my form. Your form may look a lot different but you can generally make out where to add the signature on the form by the small red tag here. When I left click the mouse in this field you'll see the add digital ID dialog box appear with a list of ways to select in order to sign the document. I'm going to assume that you have never digitally signed a document before and will choose the a new digital ID I want to create now. I'm now presented with two options to store my digital ID. The first one is Adobe's built-in function which is selected by default. And the other is a Windows certificate store. I'll be using the Adobe built-in function so I'm going to say next. Now I need to enter my personal information. So for example let's put the name in as John Smith and we'll say our organizational department is the support department and the name of my organization is BTNS Limited. My email address will be john.smith at btns.co.uk and I'll select my country which is the United Kingdom which I believe comes under GB Now if I were particularly paranoid I could change the type of algorithm to 1024 bit or 2048 bit. And I can also use the digital ID for digital signatures and data encryption or one or the other. I'm going to leave everything as default and say next. The next step is to save your digital ID in a place that you'll remember. So in my case here I'm going to save it under my documents and I'll just leave it as John Smith DS for digital sign and save and I'm also going to enter a password here and confirm it again and say finish and that's all you need to do now I can enter my password here and click sign if I wish to but this is what a digital signature looks like by default. When we think of signatures we tend to think of handwritten signatures but we can add our own handwritten signatures if we wish. And the way we can do this is just by simply hand signing your signature on a piece of paper and scanning it to your PC with a scanner and saving it as a PDF document. I have one on my PC that I scanned earlier so I could decide to choose create new appearance from the drop down box here and I'll give it a title so HW for handwritten signature of John Smith and I'll select import graphic and if I click the file button here I can now browse for the scanned graphic in my pictures folder there it is and I'll open that so if I'm happy with this signature I can click OK and I can see the handwritten signature in the preview box here. 
I can also show or unshow various pieces of text to the right of my signature here by checking or unchecking the boxes for name, location, reason, etc. I'm going to keep everything as it is and click OK. All I need to do now is enter my password and click sign. It will also allow me to save a copy of what I've just signed and place it anywhere I wish within my computer. So I could give it a name, I'll call it signed timesheet and I'll leave it on my desktop. So we can see our authorised signature in the bottom left of our document here so the only thing that I need to do is submit this document back to where it came from. So if I click submit I can then choose how I'd like to send this email, whether I use my default email application such as Microsoft Outlook or use a web-based email. I'm going to go for the default and say continue and as you can see it populates my email along with the attached sign timesheet. And that's all there is to it. Now that I have my digital signature set up it will automatically add it to PDF documents in the future once I click on the authorization or signature field. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching.